There's like a whole school of them. Ooh, they like this black magic. Ooh, 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 okay. Hold up, player, hold up, hold up, hold up. What up, what up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Seasick Fisherman, and the goal of this video is to test out these jigs and get some practice on the float tube. Let's get right to it. You keep any? Oh yeah. No, I make that makes sense. They are fun to catch. I said, what hatcheries do you know of that got sick recently? No, I understand. Yeah. You ever get into any striper here? Oh, damn, I just... I did not see them until just now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I could see them. I definitely did not see them before. There we go. Oh. That's that, uh. Did it? It bit it. It's a little. Yeah, it's like they're biting this from the back. Yeah. I might uh, go to a smaller jig. Yeah. You know, I'm just trying to. Learn how to control myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. There we go. Whoo, this nigga's fight. Alright, Joe. Yeah. Only thing is avoiding the grass. Are we recording? Yes we are. Alright. This is on one of those red white and blue jigs. Uh oh, so now how am I gonna get it out that grass right there? Okay, let's see if I can. I plan on getting a kayak. I wanna get one, but um, right now I'm saving up. What'd you say? You say your friend has a hobby? Oh, yeah, she had a, she had a float tube before. But, uh, she went, like, the next week. She came and bought a kayak. Yeah, if I could afford it, I would buy one, too. What's your name? Celeste. Celeste? Celeste. Nice to meet you. Jacob. Jacob, nice to meet you. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. So I, a lot of the jigs I make, I give them away. Uh -huh. Like in little giveaways and whatnot. Yeah. So I said, okay, if I sell enough, then I'll buy a kayak. I think I'm going to have to switch my color. Yeah, so good. Oh, yeah. No, he just bit it. Maybe come back for it. I see in LA. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to get outside of LA, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. What's your Instagram? The Seasick Fisherman. The Seasick Fisherman? Yeah, it's all one word, but instead of the word C, it's the letter C. So the the Seasick Fisherman. Seasick Fisherman, right? Yes. The Seasick Fisherman. It's nice meeting you, Jacob. Nice meeting you, too. What was your name again? What was your name again? Celeste. Celeste, okay. Alright, have a good one, Celeste. Here we go. Hi. You're ready. You're right. That's on the, the black right there. Black magic. On the stinger. The black magic stinger. Getting hooked up is not the hard part. It's uh getting them out the grass. 
Oh, it came off. Popped them out the grass. First cast with the black magic. So the main, the hardest part has been, well, for me, okay, there's another one. Two bites in a row on the black magic, straight. Back to back on the stinger, keeping them out the grass. That's gonna be the key. Keep it out the grass and bring them in. This one is itty bitty, so I'm gonna try to let them, rather this one pop off the hook. I just didn't touch that one. I just kind of shook it up. Oh, I threw it way too far. I threw it into the ground. Okay, there we go. We're right here on top of them, y'all. There's like a whole school of them. Ooh, they like this black magic. Ooh, 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 okay. Hold up, play it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Tip up. Oh, yeah, you, you better try Oh, that's a thicker one. There we go. On the black magic. Black magic. All right, let's go back out there. I call this the black magic, which is basically a stinger jig. That's a color. Little stinger. Two pound test sizer. It's been every cast with this right here. The wind is really pushing us, so. I'm trying to stay off of the school. Don't want to spook them. Here we go. The black magic, y'all. Black magic's the way to go. Oh, came off. It's all right though. I'm just having fun hooking them up. The black magic. All right. I'm gonna play this next one a little bit easier. It's just so hard to to keep them away from the all the grass. Little mini jig, little stinger jig is killing them right now. The wind is killing me. It's hard to stay in position to get a good hookup, and then after you get a good hookup to land the fish outside of this grass. And they're not hitting it hard, but they are gobbling it up. It's like a little whoop, whoop. There we go. Damn. They're hitting it, but I need some better hooks. These hooks right here kind of suck. But when I got here, I was just such in a rush to get out here that, you know, I didn't really go through all my uh, jig heads. I just wanted to tie up real quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am so tangled up. Damn. You know, this would be a great time for an anchor.
But at the same time, if I had an anchor, would I be practicing? Jumper. <laughs> this one is itty bitty. I'm gonna shake him loose. That was itty bitty right there. But he was fun, that dude was excited. There we go. See what I was talking about with this grass? Now let's see if I can turn myself around. Both of us are stuck. And I just recently caught a a department fishing game uh, trout at cast egg cooked him up and it was pretty damn delicious so we're gonna get our limit go from there first cast back in there black mini jig black magic Polarized glass. Oh, there we go. We can bid already. Yep, already. There we go. Okay. More grass right there, dang. Okay, it came out the grass. This one's a lot smaller than I would like it to be. So I'm just gonna grab the jig head and let him shake himself up. And he's off, just like that. Never touched it. I just grabbed my line and he shook free. And you guys. Any y'all ever watch uh, Next Friday? When they were like, you can taste the air? I'm tasting the air right now. And y'all was right, I don't need a paddle. I'm out here getting it. I get blown out of position. And then I'm able to Bring myself back. It's a nice school right here. Uh oh, they, they're chasing. Oh, ho, ho. I watched them come and get that one right there. Watched them come get it. Watch them jump. Watch them jump. Oh, this one is little. Very small. Very small. But he got some tug to him. 
I just wish I could go forward with this thing. What's up, Jay? Mr. Remy, you'll be proud of me. I'm over here changing directions. Changing directions? You trying to get at a better angle on the grass? Changing directions? All right, we had a better angle. Oh, it's in the, it's deep in that grass though. It might be too late for this one. Uh oh, yeah. That one got me way down into the grass. So, what I've been finding myself having to do, like once I get a little, the wind right up in here has been crazy. It's been blowing me this way, that way, that way, this way. So, definitely a leg day kind of day. But, this is some good therapy right here. We got a little bit of a problem, but it's a good problem to have. I caught so many trout that day that basically, I'm not gonna be able to fit it all in one video, so we're gonna do a part two. But this jig right here, this jig right here is what put in the work. I caught, I don't know, probably like 10 trout on this, this jig alone. One of the easiest ways that I found to release the trout without harming them is you just grab the jig head, hold it, and they shake themselves free. Leave them in the water, just grab that jig head, and they'll shake loose. Yeah, that's the one that did it. 164 ounce jig head with a black magic stinger. Put in major work. Be on the lookout for that second video and see what other colors worked. There might be some trivia questions sprinkled in the next video for somebody to win some free jigs. If you answer first and you answer correctly, you win some free packs of jigs. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you'll be notified when I post another video. Part two will be coming out soon. Be on the lookout, there may be some questions sprinkled in the video. Some trivia questions give you an opportunity to win some free jigs. With that said, thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And like always, if I don't see it on the water, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.